Hi, my name is Gero Tavitian. I'm very glad to be part of this learning zone. So I want to talk about Balkan rhythms, traditional instruments on Belkin, especially in Macedonia, and a frame drum called Tapan, which is very famous and popular on the Belkin. And we are using this instrument um, especially in the traditional music and songs. And I was trying to transcribe these uh, rhythms. But uh, it's very interesting that um, rhythms are uh, basically syncopated and they have a lot of accents. And these accents are usually played by a uh, left hand because um, this instrument tapan, which I'm going to show you later in this video, it's um, so unique and the way it should be played is also unique. So uh, while I was transcribing these rhythms on the modern drum set, I have noticed that I can emulate this sound with playing on the rim. No, if this is a clean shot, then accent notes should sound like this. And it's very important to find this sweet spot, you know, with this sticking metal. So the dynamic level it should be louder because we want to accent these syncopated uh, notes. And uh, a very basic groove in Macedonia and on Balkan is 7-8 and also 11-8. So I'm making some uh, patterns and always improvising over these patterns. I don't like to use only one groove, you know, because in this traditional music, uh, rhythmic modulation is so popular, you know, but in order to keep good time and groove for some song, we should play one steady bit. This time, I'm gonna focus on the way of playing this uh, uh, Patterns, rhythms in contemporary style, for example, fusion or jazz. We are mixing 7, 8 with 11, 8, 5, 8, 9, 8. The most important thing with this kind of playing is to keep the time and never leave the pulse. So this means that the accent notes are 
important to be clean. Now we're gonna play 7-8. It's very important to maintain focus on the accents while playing on the rim shot because uh, this is gonna make the difference between regular playing of 7-8, 11-8 and uh, Balkan style. This is gonna separate the regular rhythms from uh, Balkan style, you know. There are so many ways to play Balkan rhythms, but uh, accents are very important. This is gonna make the huge difference. Without the accents, it's gonna sound like this. And this is uh, the difference. Let's talk about 11-8. This is uh, the same way like 7-8, but the um, thing I just want to say is that 11-8 um, is very confusing groove and we can play it in several different ways. For example, The same story goes for 5-8.
Macedonian traditional music, as we said, is based on irregular rhythms, um, which are used uh, by the traditional songs, which are also used on celebrations, weddings, uh, traditional holidays in Macedonia. But the most famous traditional dance is called Teškoto. Uh, it's like a uh, heavy one, which has no tempo. It's rubato and um, you can play it freely, but it has unique uh, way of uh, playing and counting the, the bars while slowing down and speeding up. It's very unusual. It's very hard to do it, but this is a uh, uniqueness of the tradition in Macedonia which I'm so happy to be part of and I hope you will like it.